Konnichiwa everybody and welcome to the Japanese class. Are you all ready to learn more Japanese? Well, in our previous classes, we have been doing a lot of uh, verbs. We have done number of new particles and today also we will do the same. We will learn more new verbs, some new expressions and also we will do some new particles today related to time and other things as well, some new kanjis as well. So, are you all ready for the class? Well, but before I actually start telling you something and we start learning something new, we will go over our assignments, the assignments that I had given you, I will just go over those and let us see if you have done it properly. So, the first one over here is practice telling time. Well, over here you are supposed to practice numbers, you are supposed to practice learn how to tell time. Why we need to do numbers again and again is basically because we need numbers a lot. Numbers are for asking price, for day, for date, for any of these things for telling time. So, please we need to actually really do numbers very well. So, please do them at home. Over here we will practice time. So, well you could practice with your partner or you could ask your partner or you could also let your partner ask you and you could answer. Well, look at this one. This is quarter to one. So, how will you say quarter to one in Japanese? We have done it earlier. Well, you can practice ima nanji desu ka? Ima juniji yonju gohun desu. Juniji yonju gohun desu. Or you can also say ima ichiji ju gohun mae desu, which we did in our last class. So, you can practice like this with your partner. The next one is ju ichiji juppun desu. Ima nanji desu ka? Ima niji. Sanju gohun desu. Ima nanji desu ka? Juji niju gohun desu. Ima nanji desu ka? Yoji yonjuppun desu. I hope you got this one right. Now, the next assignment was we had done lot of kanjis, we did kanjis for days of the week. So, the kanjis are listed over here and the days are listed over here in pictures. So, please try to figure which one is which. So, we have getsuyobi, kayobi, suyobi as you can see from water. Mokuyobi from ki, kinyobi, doyobi and the last one is nichiyobi. See we have only done one reading at the moment. We have done getsu, ka, sui, moku, kin, do and nichi. These are some of the readings for these characters. There are other readings as well, which we will do in our next part. I hope you got this one right. So, this one is write the readings for the following kanji characters. Just now we did kayobi, ichi ji han, ichi ji han. Q, this number Q you did earlier. Hyaku goju hachi en. Hyaku go ju hachi en. Mizu, now you will see we did suyobi in our previous uh, exercise. Over here, there is another reading for this, which is mizu, which means water. The basic meaning of this character is water. 
Now, there is another one for you. We just now did in our previous exercise mokuyobi, which is Thursday. Now, over here the basic meaning is ki for this character. So, we have two readings for ki. Okane, okane. Now, this character we did just now as kinyobi. Basic meaning is okane. So, you will notice that these characters have a lot of readings. Please remember that and how to use them as well. Ichi nichi. Tsuchi. This also we did in our uh, previous exercise. This is doyobi. So, now we go on to the other one. I hope you got this one right. Please revise it once again. Match group A with group B. So, the kanji characters are given over here in group A and the um, readings are given in group B. Mokuyobi, okane, kazan, kayobi, mizu, indojin. Now, you will remember we did this character in the beginning. This character, this is for Hito as I have told you earlier. The other reading for this character is Jin to be used with the country, meaning belonging to that country of that country, person of that country. Over here it is Indo which is India. Then we have Kikori, Kikori is a woodcutter, Kikori. Tanaka, this is a name. Tanaka, a very common name in Japan. Kin and Ki. So, these are some of the kanji characters and the readings. Please try to remember them. Now, this is a simple one. We did particle de last time. If you remember, this was a new particle we did last time and some pictures are given over here. Tell by what means or mode you go from one place to another. So, the first one is you have done these words, this vocabulary I am sure you already know. Shinkansen. Jitensha, Densha, Densha, Bike, Hikoki. See, there is a long sound over here. Hikoki, Hikoki. So, please, not Hikoki, but Hikoki. Please remember that. Kuruma, bus, takushi. So, these are some of the words that you have already done and by this means you travel from one place to another. These were some of the exercises that I had given you. Now, today just before starting, we will try to revise what we did last time. And last time, if you remember, we did doko, meaning where, location basically. So, well, just look at the pictures and tell me, tell the answer where a certain thing or where a certain person is. Well, over here, in this case, it is a ball. We are talking about a ball. Where is the ball? Boru wa doko desu ka? So, you have two people standing over here, 
together close by and the ball is a little further away from them. So, well what are you going to say? Let me see. Well, ball wa asoko desu. Now, the second picture you have these two people here. One person is pointing at the ball, but both of them are far away from the ball once again. So, well, what is it going to be? Ball wa doko desu ka? Ball wa asoko desu. So, please try to fill in the space yourself. Now, the third picture is okay, this time we have two people over here. Gentleman A is close to the ball, and this gentleman B is far away from the ball as we did last time. Well, he is pointing at the ball, and what is he saying? What is he asking? Ball wa doko desu ka? He is asking ball wa doko desu ka? So, this gentleman over here, as he is far away from the ball, he could say ball wa, yes, ball wa soko desu. This gentleman could also say ball wa koko desu, ball wa koko desu. Now, we have another picture for you. In this picture again, these two are close by and the ball is again far away. So, what are you going to say? Well, this is just revision. So, quickly do it. You know exactly what to say. Asoko desu. And now, what do we have? We have this gentleman and a lady here and the gentleman is pointing at the Kaban, which is a bag over here. They are both far away from the Kaban. So, what does he ask? Kaban wa, what does she ask? Kaban wa doko desu ka? And he says, Kaban wa, yes, that is right, Kaban wa asoko desu. So, I hope by now you are all, you have all understood what asoko, koko, soko, and doko mean and how it is to be used. Now, today we are going to learn something new, lot of new particles, a couple of new particles, lot of new vocabulary, lot of uh, verbs. So, we begin with of course, time because time is very, very important. So, I get up at 6 o'clock every day. How will you say that in Japanese? So, we will come to that. Well. Now, please listen to this radio conversation and see how much you can actually understand from the conversation and then whatever is not understood, we will do right away in class. Gakko wa nanji kara desu ka? Shiji kara desu. Nanji ni okimasu ka? Mainichi rokuji ni okimasu. Gakko wa nanji ni owarimasu ka? Gogo sanji han desu. Ja. Nanji ni hiro gohan o tabemasu ka? Juichi ji desu. Now, the conversation is between Arun san and Mira san, two people. A very casual conversation. Gakko wa nanji kara desu ka? Gakko, you all know. Gakko is a school. Wa, of course, because we are talking about Gakko. Nan you know means what? G is for time, kara is from, this and ka makes it an interrogative. So, gakko wa nanji kara desu ka? Shichiji kara desu. From 7 o'clock. Nanji ni okimasu ka? Nanji ni. Ni is for time, nanji ni okimasu ka? Okimasu is to get up. Nanji ni okimasu ka? Mainichi every day. Rokuji ni okimasu. I get up every day at 6 o'clock. Gakko wa nanji ni owarimasu ka? What time does your gakko get over? Gogo sanji han desu. 3.30 in the afternoon. Ja, 
Well, then in that case, when your gakko gets over at 3 o'clock, 3.30, well in that case, nanji ni hiru gohan o tabemasu ka? What time do you have your lunch? Tabemasu is to eat. Ju ichiji, this 11 o'clock. So, this is a simple conversation. Now, you can see that there are two new particles for you, ni and o and a simple word expression ja. Ja is to be used when something is already being said and then well then in that case that is what ja means. Now, I will do the two particles with you. This is of course, in the script. I would like to tell you something over here you can see all of it is written in katakana because these are foreign words and these are names, foreign names not Japanese names and thus they will all be written in katakana. And then also there is something very interesting over here which generally does not happen in a Japanese script. This has been done basically for you to understand it better, make it easy for you. In Japanese when you write then there are no spaces as you can see over here. In Japanese, these spaces are not there and wa would come over here. I will write it down for you and tell you just now. It makes it a little complicated for us to understand as we are used to English or Hindi in India, where space is provided or is given between words. So, for you to understand better, space has been given, otherwise it is not written like this in Japanese. Then we have meanings in English for you. Well, now we will do particle ni. This is a new particle, particle ni. You will notice that we did time. Ima, ichi, ji, des. Simple for time. Ima ichi ji han des. Now, you want to perform a certain activity, you want to do something at a certain time. Watashi wa hachi ji ni oki mas. Or Vata Shiva Roku Ji Ni Tabe Mas. So, what am I doing? I am actually performing an activity at a certain time. Vata Shiva Roku Ji Ni. So, after a certain time, after a specified time, at a specified time, I perform an activity, I perform an activity. So, after a specified time, ni is going to come, this particle ni is going to be used after time. And please remember that it will not be roku ni ji, please, it is roku ji ni. This is important. So, time will be followed by particle ni, especially when an activity is being done at a certain time. As you can see, it is written over here, when a verb denotes action or movement at a particular time, then the time is marked with particle ni. Ni actually means in, at and on. As in the example, watashi wa rokuji ni okimas. I get up at 6 o'clock. This time expression ashita you have done in your previous lesson or kino, ashita, kino, kyo, asatte, ototoi, all these expressions you have done, these words you know. So, ashita, deli e ikimas. A also you have done in your last lesson. So, ashita, deli e ikimas. Tomorrow I go to Delhi. I will go to Delhi tomorrow. 
So, this is for knee particle knee. Now, you can practice particle knee. Look at these clocks, you have time over here. You can ask your partner, what do you do at a certain time? For example, it is 1 o'clock, it is 7 over here, 2 30 over here, 3 o'clock, 4, 7, 8 30, 11 30, 6, 6 o'clock. So, what do you do at this time? At this point, what do you do? Well, let us see what we do, what your friend does every day. Mai nichi nanji ni okimasu ka? Okimasu is to get up. Mai nichi nanji ni ikimasu ka? Shichiji ni ikimasu. Nanji ni kaerimasu ka? Niji han ni kaerimasu. Nanji ni tabemasu ka? Sanji ni tabemasu. Once again you have ikimasu over here. Nanji ni ikimasu ka? Yoji ni ikimasu. Nanji ni benkyou shimasu ka? Shichiji ni benkyou shimasu. Once again tabemasu over here. Then we have Nanji ni nemasu ka? Which is to sleep. Ju ichiji han ni nemasu. So, these are some verbs for you which you can practice with time at a certain time what activity you are performing. Watashi wa rokuji ni as I told you earlier after time particle ni oki mas. You can change this also over here. Tanaka san, tomo dachi, oto san, imoto wa again time, you can change the time over here. Mm, hachiji, hachiji, juji, goji. Shichiji and then again you can also change the verb over here. You can put any verb you want. Tabemas Ikimas Nomi Mas or any other verb that we have done. For example, you could say Watashi wa Rokuji ni Okimas. Watashi wa rokuji ni ikimas. Tanaka san wa goji ni tabemas. Imoto wa hachiji ni ikimas. So you can make a lot of lot of uh, small uh, sentences with this and practice time. You can practice the vocabulary that you have done and also you can practice the new verbs that we are going to do and some that we have already done. Now, in this only you can also practice something else. For example, there is my nichi given over here, word that you have already done, my nichi, my nichi. Ashita you have done. Asatte. So, you can also say Watashi wa mainichi rokuji ni okimasu. Every day I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. You can also add gogo or gozen before time. Watashi wa mainichi gozen rokuji ni Okimas. So, you can also make dialogue like this, sentences like this and have a small simple dialogue. There is another one, Ashita, Tanaka-san wa 
田中さんは明日午前8時に行きます。So tomorrow, 田中さん will go at 8 o'clock. So a certain activity is being performed at a certain time. You can add go go, you can add these time expressions, the words that you have done, and practice with your partner. Well, now you have some words over, I have some words over here for you, so you can practice with the words. For example, Mainichi we did just now. There is Gakko. Gakko means school, as I have already told you. So, well, Watashi wa Mainichi Gakko e ikimasu. Watashi wa Mainichi Shichiji ni Gakko e ikimasu. A particle you have done which shows direction. So, well, the second one is Uchi. Watashi wa Mainichi Nijihan ni Uchi e kairimasu. So, particle A as I told you earlier, particle A will always come before verbs like ikimas, motion verbs basically, kairimas. And any other verb, any other motion verb that we will do later. For the time being, please remember ikimas and kairimas are two verbs which are going to take particle A. A and not E as is written in Roman, it is A, please remember that. Then we have Hirugohan, Hirugohan is lunch, Watashi wa mainichi sanji ni Hirugohan o tabemasu. I eat Gohan every day at 3 o'clock. Watashi wa mainichi yoji ni juku e ikimasu. I go for my special class at 4 o'clock. Then you have Watashi wa mainichi benkyo shimasu. Watashi wa mainichi shichiji ni benkyo shimasu. Watashi wa mainichi hachiji han ni ban gohan o so, at 8.30 every day I have my dinner. Then we have Watashi wa mainichi juichi ji han ni nemasu. So, every day I sleep at 11.30. Now, I hope after doing this exercise you will be very comfortable with particle ni with these verbs that we have done, how to make sentences with these verbs, how to use particle ni and how to use particle a. We will also do particle o very, very soon. Now, there is another one, look at the picture and practice verbs with time. This is again practice for you, basically for you to get used to the verbs, get used to these new, new sounds, new vocabulary and how to use time and verbs together. So, we have this, you see someone sleeping over here, it is night time you can get from here, well what is it then? Watashi wa juji ni nemasu. You see some people walking. Mina san shichiji ni sampo shimasu, which is to take a walk. Well, you see this gentleman returning. So, what is it? We will call him Tanaka san. Tanaka san wa rokuji ni uchi e kairimasu. And then we have Tanaka san again over here who is on the phone talking to someone. So, we have Tanaka san wa ju ichiji ni den wa o shimasu. So, this way you can practice your verbs and your time. Now, there is particle o. This is a new particle. So far, we have done particle wa, which is the subject particle or the topic particle. 
particle ni which tells which tells about time particle wa particle ni particle ka which is a question particle particle mo which means also then particle ne which is used for confirmation. So, well we will do a new particle now particle o. Now, these particles are actually used to join words to connect words with one another to make proper sentences. So, well over here vata shiva mai nichi ringo o tabe mas watashi wa mainichi every day watashi is i watashi wa mainichi ringo is apple o tabe mas now this is a noun this is a verb we already know that the subject comes in the beginning of a sentence every time Whenever you are talking about something, the topic or subject of conversation is always right here in the beginning, then the verb is in the end in Japanese. Well, then what happens about the object? Well, the object will always come in the middle then. So, over here you can see action word directly related with the noun. So, Japanese is a subject, object, verb construction basically with the subject coming here, the object coming in between and the verb coming in the end. Now, this verb is directly related with the noun or the object over here. What do I do every day? I eat an apple. I hope it is clear particle O. Now, over here what you can do is you can again replace watashi over here with Noun 1, which could be anybody, Otosan Sensei Tomodachi. This noun 2 over here could be anything again, it could be Orenji, 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 Ringo. O tabemas juice. Nomi mas. Nomi mas means to drink. So, watashi wa mainichi orange o tabemas. Orange o tabemas. Otosan wa mainichi juice o nomi mas. Sensei wa mainichi ringo o tabemas. So, you can use this construction with particle O, particle O simple basically showing relationship between the verb. So, I hope this much is clear, we will practice it right now. Particle O indicates that the word preceding O is the direct object of the verb following it. So, you can very clearly read when the verb shimas to do is used then shimas means that the action denoted by the noun is being performed. For example, ringo o tabemasu, so what is the action? You are eating, I eat an apple, juice o nomimasu, I drink juice, shigoto o shimasu, what am I doing? I am working, I am working. So, you can see the direct relationship with the verb. Now, this is practice for you, you can replace the noun ringo with words given below. Sakana is fish, mikan is orange, yasai is vegetable, kudamono is fruit, niku is meat and ice cream is ice cream as in English because you can easily make out because it is in katakana. So, well it is an English word ice cream. Well, this is some practice for you here just replace this word ringo with any of these and you eat that. Practice it with your friend. The question would be 
अनाथावा अनाथावा नानी ओ थाबे मास का नानी ओ थाबे मास का so far you have only done nan which means what if you remember you have not done nani so far nani is here meaning exactly the same nan and nani are exactly similar there is no difference the only place where they differ is nan generally is used with numbers and nani is used in other places most of the time meaning is exactly the same means what so anata wa nani o tabemasu ka watashi wa ringo o tabemasu watashi wa ringo o tabemasu so you could practice like this put any noun over here in place of ringo and practice with your partner and use the vocabulary that we have learned you can also remember the sentence construction sentence pattern practice by replacing the noun and the verb and make sentences with the help of words given below well this is another practice for you which you can do we have watashi wa mainichi ringo o tabemasu exactly what we did in our previous exercise well you can also use the negative which is masen as you can see watashi wa ringo o tabemasu tabemasu is i tabemasu is eat i eat an apple now the negative for tabemasu is tabe and ma sen tabe mas and tabe masen tabe mas is positive tabe mas is masen is negative masen means tabe masen means i will i do not eat an apple so you can use any tabe mas or tabe masen whichever you want there is this group of words over here and there is this group of verbs over here for you you can use either in mas form or in masen form as i just showed you on the board instead of mas over here you can put masen and that will become negative so there are n number of sentences you can make with these two sets watashi wa mainichi sakana o tabemasu tanaka san wa mainichi sakana o tabemasen imoto wa mainichi sampo o shimasu imoto wa mainichi sampo o shimasen tanaka san wa mainichi yakyu which is baseball o shimasu tanaka san wa mainichi yakyu o shimasen so whichever you want to use mas or masen you can use that it is called the mas form because it has mas in positive and masen in negative and later on also you will see in the past and the past negative also it has mas form somewhere thus it is called mas form so you can practice this at home with your partner and feel comfortable with mas and masen and particle o now look at the picture and please tell what are they doing tanaka san we'll have tanaka san as our friend from now onwards in class all the time and we'll refer to people as tanaka san anywhere in the picture so what is tanaka san doing tanaka san wa nani o shimasu ka tanaka san wa hatarakimasu is he's working 
田中さんは帰りますふたり何をしますか学生は勉強します。と study。田中さんは何をしますか田中さんは読みます。本を読みます。So this is how you can practice particle O. You can practice all your verbs. You can make sentences with different combinations. Which will help you in conversation later. Now, we have been talking about eating all the time. Well, the Japanese do a certain action before actually starting to eat. Can you tell me what they do? Well, generally say a small prayer before they start eating, and it could be even before eating, it could be even before just having a cup of tea. Or generally, a small snack, generally they would say something. Well, what is that? That is, join your hands before your food and say, Thank you, God, for all the food that you are giving me. Well, the word is, Itadakimas. Itadakimas, meaning, Thank you, God, for the food that you are giving me. So, this is a custom, this is a system followed. By all Japanese anywhere before they start eating, they generally say this phrase. You can start doing it from today as you all are learning Japanese. So, you can start this. Well, now there is a small、uh, conversation for you, a radio conversation. Please listen to that and、uh, see how much you understand. I will tell you and read out to you once again. But before that, please listen to this. 明日かから出張ですかはいそうですどこへ行きますかモンバイへ行きますいつ戻りますか来月の6日ですああ私は6日に国へ帰りますそして5月の2日に戻りますああそう Well now again the 会話 is between two people アメタンラオ I'll read out the 会話 Which is conversation or dialogue? Ashita kara shutcho desu ne? Hai, so desu. Doko e ikimasu ka? Mumbai e ikimasu. Itsu modorimasu ka? Lai getsu no muika desu. Ah, watashi wa muika ni kuni e kaerimasu. So shite, go gatsu no futsuka ni modorimasu. Ah, so. Well, this is a simple conversation, a small dialogue. Ashita, you already know. The new word is shutcho. Shutcho is a business trip. When you go on tour from office, it is called shutcho. So, ashita kara shutcho desu ka? From tomorrow, you are going for your tour. Hai, so desu. Doko e ikimasu ka? Mumbai e ikimasu. Itsu modorimasu ka? Itsu means when you have already done this. Well, itsu is when for time. Itsu modorimasu ka? When are you going to return? Raigetsu no muika desu. Raigetsu is next month. No muika is the sixth of next month. This. It is the sixth of next month. Ah, watashi wa muika ni kuni e. So, again, you will see with date particle ni is used over here. Earlier we have done particle ni with time. Now, this time over here in this conversation, you will see that particle ni is also used with date. Ah, watashi wa muika ni kuni e kaerimasu. On 6th, I will return to my country. So shite. Now, so shite is a new word which is a conjunction, and unlike English, where conjunctions join sentences, in Japanese, conjunctions start a sentence. Over here, you will see the sentence ends over here after kairimasu, and then 
soshte, which means and, starts over here. Soshte and gogatsu no futsuka ni modorimasu. Gogatsu is fifth month, that is May. No futsuka is the second, second of May ni modorimasu. I will return. Futsuka again is date, futsuka ni. So, on the date. Ah, so I see. That is a simple expression. Oh, I have understood. So, this is a simple conversation with this new particle soshte, which means and, and always begins a sentence. So, you can practice this again at home. Now, as we always do, we will do kanji which are pictograms and ideograms and we have been doing a lot of kanji characters in our previous lessons. Kanjis as you know can be divided into different groups. How would you look up a kanji in, in a kanji dictionary? How would you do that? Well, for that kanjis are divided into different sections as you can see it is divided into radicals, it is divided into groups by stroke order. And it is also divided into groups with the help of the readings. Well, we will not go too much into detail of what exactly each one is and how it is done. But well, there are about 214 radicals and these radicals are very interesting because the basic, basic meaning of the kanji character comes from these radicals. Now, these radicals in a character can be anywhere. It could be on the left side, it could be on the right side, it could be on top over here in a kanji character. It could cover the kanji character completely. It could also be on the left side like this. It could also be on the on the top like this. So, it can be anywhere as you can see it can be all over the place. The radical could be placed anywhere in a complicated kanji character. Now, some simple kanjis that you have already done in class are actually radicals. For example, this character which is hito, which means a man is itself a radical. This character which means sun or is or can also mean light or brightness or day is also a radical. So, lot of characters, lot of kanji characters which will have the meaning of light, bright, day or sun associated with that will be in this group, in this radical, will have this radical definitely as a character. For example, you have, you have done this character of yobi, yo which means day as in days of the week like this. This is what we did earlier, is not it in our previous class. So, now this is one single character. This means yo means day. So, the sun flies on the wings of a bird on a on the wings of a fat bird from one place to another. Now, how do you depict that? So, thus you have this character over here as sun. This kanji goes under this radical. That is how radicals are divided. There are 214 radicals and all the kanji characters about 1900 kanji characters are divided into these radical groups. Now, then also you have with stroke order a complicated kanji like this has about how many strokes let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, sorry 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17, 18. So, in all it has 18, 18 lines. So, stroke order it is divided with the help of stroke order because there are single stroke kanjis also, there are two stroke kanjis also, there are three stroke kanjis also. So, all this goes up till 23. So, you have complicated characters of 23 strokes. Then also kanjis are divided with the help of readings. For example, each kanji has a number of readings. A number of readings are given to each kanji. We have already done quite a few of them. So, they can also be divided with those readings. A certain reading could be a certain set of kanjis with a similar reading could be in one group and a certain set of kanji characters, certain set of kanji readings could be in another group. As we go ahead, you will, you will realize what it is. So, for the time being, I think this much is enough. We won't go into too much detail and we will try to do the kanjis that we have to do. So, well the kanjis that we are going to do are go go, go go, a four stroke character go, go and you can see over here go. It means noon, noon. Again I will make it for you once again over here one, two, three and four go. Then we have go again. So, well now you can see ichi ni san yon go roku nana hachi an Q. So, you will see as I told you earlier, every time the kanji character will end over here on the right lower corner of the square. Now, this character over here, go go, means ato or later, later, later on, go go. You did go go and go zen. So, you have go and go as go go afternoon. So, well this character is of 9 strokes. Also you have one more character 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I will have to do it once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. It is a 9 stroke character 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 like this means before, earlier means my or another reading is zen as you can see. So, it is go zen, go zen means am or morning and it is also a 9 stroke character. Now, there are some words with these kanji characters for vocabulary. You have done these words earlier, all you need to do now is to know the kanji character. Mainichi, every day, asa, morning, kyo, today. And if you remember, we have done this character ima as well. Earlier, this is also ima, kyo. Kyo is ima nichi, which is day, today. Then we have kino, kino, that is yesterday. So, these are some of the new characters. You can learn these, do these, and remember them. At least if you look at them regularly, you will be able to recognize them when you see them somewhere, written somewhere. Now, some words with kanji characters. Gozenchu, 
Gozen Chiu means Gozen means morning and Chiu means all through, all morning. Izen, Izen means before or earlier. Ego means since then. Hitomai means in public, in front of people. Mai means front of, ahead. So, front of, in front of people. Ninin mai means for two people. Gogo, as you already know, you did with time, is PM. Gozen is AM, as you have done with time earlier. Now, another reading for Zen is Mai and the kanji is here, which I had made for you on the board, which means ahead and over here Ushiro and over here it is Gogo. So, this character has two readings, Go and Ushiro. If you look at the kanji slide, you will see that two readings are written over there. Then a name for you, simple name we did earlier in one of our lessons, lot of names. Well, you can write these names now in kanji, you can understand them how it is written, my kava. Okay, so now we have some new words for you, some vocabulary for reference. Well, you could repeat after me, sengetsu, kongetsu. And the meanings, of course, are given over here. Rai gets Sarai gets Sakana Fuku Gohan Shosetsu. Yakyu and some verbs as well. Shimas, Nomimas, Kaimas. Please repeat after me. Skurimas. Okimas, Modorimas, Tabemas, Yomimas, Mimas, Nemas. Sampo shimas, well now it is for you to do all the assignments, it is your work. Now that begins, there is this assignment where you have to write the kanji characters for all the underlined words. So please try to do these kanji characters, try to practice this, all the characters are given in your previous lessons. Match the following kanji characters with words in Roman in column B. So, you have kanji characters in column A and then you have the Roman written in column B. Look at the pictures and practice with your partner by asking him about his daily schedule. So, the schedule is given, all the pictures are there, the time is given plus the verbs are given in English. So, you have to do the verbs in Japanese. And of course, you could look at the picture and ask mai nichi nani wo tabemasu ka and this would help in vocabulary. And in the end, this is for you to tell what the verb is. Practice your verbs by looking at the picture, asking your partner what they are doing 
and then answering. So, please try to do that. At home, practice all that we have done, do the vocabulary, do the verbs, do time and practice particle ni, particle o and then we will meet next time again. So, minasan, mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.